this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do a revolve animation using a sketch um, to start we'll first pick a plane to draw a sketch on um, I want my sketch on the top plane but my top plane in this assembly is too low so I would offset it up a little bit by making another plane um, top um, about 150 millimeters is good I'll click OK and on this plane I'll draw a sketch um, go normal to um, circle and when you draw your circle make sure that your circle is broken you can even use an act but I like using a circle just to uh, get it close and just trim any part of it um, you can delete your line um, this you can move it um, and the reason why I said to break your circle is because when you revolve your camera around it SOLIDWORKS will be able to tell when you go in the clock, clockwise direction and the counterclockwise direction um, so for this circle let's just add a dimension to it um, right, smart dimension and let's you know, 4000 millimeters okay and next and um, I'm just gonna exit out of the sketch and next I'm going to go in motion study and we would click on lights camera and scene add camera and just just zoom out on this on the left side that's where you edit on the right side is pretty much showing you what the animation or the view looks like the camera view looks like in the viewport so um, for target by selection this is this red dot and anywhere you put this red dot or click on the your camera is going to focus on it so you can click the part itself and you can see that right here is showing face is showing that face as selected um, you can also for example if I delete it you can drag it around and place it anywhere you want you don't necessarily have to click the part but um, I always like clicking somewhere on the part where I'm trying to focus on the most um, so I'll click on the, on the body and for position by selection um, that is where you want the camera so in this case we want our camera on the sketch itself so we we'll click position by selection and you select the sketch and now the camera is on the sketch so when you can just play around with it just to get it where you want it so if we drag this uh, we can see the camera is pretty much gonna change the rotation on this side and this is your lens and you can drag it back and forth when you drag it back it zooms out and when you drag it forward it zooms in so for this example we're gonna have it somewhere right here and I don't I don't like where I've selected for the target by selection so I'm just gonna change it um, let's do the back here yeah, that looks that looks good um, then let's just move this around to get a better view where we want to start we can start at this view um, zoom in a little bit um, good and we'll click 
um, one thing I uh, over here you can also change your perspective or your camera your camera angle so right here on that custom angle um, I usually oh no under the aspect ratio sorry um, I usually change it to high dev 16 by 9 so to give you a much wider look and click OK so now if you click open drop down this folder you you right click on the camera you can see that the camera view is on and it's checked when you uncheck click it uncheck it and you go back to the regular SOLIDWORKS screen and right click check it and you are in your camera view to run the animation we want to be in the camera view um so next for our timeline let's drag it out three seconds and this for some reason um the solidworks is breaking from our camera view to the solidworks screen and to stop that from happening um you want to cl right click on this and on check check the disable playback um, to view keys and that should stop that um, so we'll right click on the camera again and check camera view and so when we drag this out three seconds uh, it stays in our camera view and next we want to right click on the camera again properties and now the camera is still on the last spot we left it so now let's just move the camera a little bit to the left and now let's move it some more and right there is good um, we can zoom in in and out uh, we can zoom in some more good and we click OK so now the SOLIDWORKS has had pretty much an animation going from 0 to 3 seconds in the direction that we've rotated the camera in the properties. So next let's drag the timeline to 6 seconds and camera properties um, and let's drag it back. So let's move this camera back to this view right there. That's good. I'll click OK. And SolidWorks has added another time, another keyframe going from three seconds to six seconds. And right now, this yellow button is pretty much following the timeline and to to rec we we have to recalculate it that's what i'm trying to say um so anytime you add something else is always better to recalculate it so the recalculation button is right here um and now the animation is fully calculated and um now we want to save it um let's play to see what it looks like um, now the camera is rotating that way and coming back this way um, So it looks good. Um, I mean you you'll probably take more time to mess around with it um, But for this example um, not to take too much of your time I just want to show you how to get the camera set up and move it back and forth um, Next we want to save it. So we'll click save animation um, You can browse to the file location you choose to you want to save it um for this file name i'll leave it as it is um maybe i'll just do bmx bike um then we want to save it as a microsoft avi file on a solidworks screen and we already choose our aspect ratio so which is 1920 by 1080 uh, for frames per seconds, we let's do 15. And 
click save and we'll do full frames on compress okay and SolidWorks is asking do we want to recalculate the animation we will click yes and now the rendering the animation is saving and rendering and um, it takes a while and if you render it in photo view 360 it takes much longer um, depending on how powerful your computer is it could take anywhere from minutes to hours so um, but this is almost done uh, right about now good so now when we go to our file location and we have our BMX bike and our animation so it should play so the animation is playing and we can see the sketch in the animation um, but you can delete this you cannot delete but hide the sketch so to hide the sketch from showing in the animation when you if you render it in photo view 360 um your sketch will not be shown but when you render it on the i mean save the animation on the solidworks screen it would show the sketch unless you hide it so let's drag the timeline back to zero and if we scroll down we should see our sketch at the end of this which is sketch 13 um, right click on it um, so we can hide it so right click on it and we should be able to hide it um, so let's just click on the sketch and hide it sorry um, I'm not sure why the option is not available under here but I guess you can click the sketch in the viewport and right click on it and you should see the eye, eye logo and you can hide it um, so that will be it and you can resave it and re-render it if you want um, thank you bye